Now that we've had a chance to see the new Garmin Zero A1i Pro in action, Brandon has done a total reset of the site to show us just how simple it is to calibrate the latest generation of the Garmin Zero Bose sights. So the very first step in this new setup process is to get that 20 yard pin set. So we're gonna go and start that process. There's been a lot of UI changes or UI improvements. So here's some of those graphical displays of what we call the reticle. So if you're off of that reticle a little bit, really all you need to do is make those pitch and yaw adjustments to move that reticle into piece. But the side itself is gonna walk us through each one of those pieces step by step. And there's a nice graphical display of it. So here our grouping is hitting a little bit low um, and we're prompted in the, uh, the side itself is, did, your, did the arrow hit the bullseye? So we're gonna say no. Um, and now it's actually given us specific knobs to turn. So um, because we're in this initial like setup, we're just gonna be, this first part of the setup, it's just moving the up and down and left and right. So it's asking us um, to adjust the up and down. So because we're low, we actually need to chase that arrow and drop our sight down just slightly. So here with the micro adjust, I can just kind of roll through and drop that down just a little bit. So again, it kind of stepped me through exactly telling me, you know, which knob to turn there. So it gave me, you know, specifically um, this top knob and told me kind of to, to chase that arrow and drop the sight down. So now I'm at the point where I need to set back to that 20 yards and see if we come back up to where we need to be. All right, so that one hit dead center. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it that we hit the bullseye there. So at this point, we've got at least the standard left and right and up and down complete because we've set that 20 yard pin. To do the reticle alignment, we're gonna use what we call the pitch and the yaw. So there's gonna be two curved adjustments that we need to make here. One, where we move the housing itself on a curved axis this way, and another one here where we actually pivot this way left and right. So to do that, it's actually projecting the reticle there um, in the housing itself. I'm gonna go ahead and knock an arrow and draw back and see where I'm at in the reticle. So again, that reticle is essentially a big circle out in space with a bunch of arrows pointing at it. All those arrows are little tools letting me know what direction I need to make this next movement to get that pin, the red pin, directly in the middle of that circle. All right, where adjustment we made there is perfect. I'm gonna let down. All right. So again, here, I can show you some screenshots that I've been discussing that really just help make that overall setup um, more easy. So here it's calling out the specific um, kind of angled left and right and up and down knobs that you need to adjust to get that reticle aligned. As we just walked through, we went through and the reticle is aligned after that one adjustment. So now we're gonna stand back to about 20 yards. This is where we're at. So we, since we did make one small adjustment there, we just wanna make sure that we're still on at 20. There we go. So our adjustment on that last one was so small that we don't really need to go back and make anything else adjust there because our reticle's aligned and we confirm that that 20 yard pin is still on. So now we've got our, our 20 yard range set up. So we're actually gonna go through and just use the bow speed. I've, I've shot it through the chrono a few times this uh, past month or so. So I know it's shooting you know, right around that 280 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. So um, it's prompting me for what's my arrow diameter. So if you're shooting skinnier arrows, I've got a standard diameter arrow here. All right, so now that I've gone through and I've entered in that uh, bow speed, it's gonna have me back up to 40 yards to validate that the calculated pin stack is accurate. After firing off that final arrow, Brandon was able to confirm that the calculated pin stack was accurate and his Zero A1i Pro was ready to go. The latest generation of the Garmin Zero is once again changing the way avid archery hunters can hit the fields and remove any doubt when they put that reticle on their target. To get your hands on the Garmin Zero A1i Pro, head on over to Garmin.com.